I'll take a moment to talk about what we're going to cover this week. So in the previous week, we talked a little bit about um, dealing with violations of the assumptions for linear regression. We introduced multiple linear regression, and specifically we talked about when we had two x variables, both being numeric, and two x variables, one categoric, one numeric, to get a sense for what multiple, re multiple linear regression looks like when we include another variable and it's numeric or categorical. We spent some time trying to connect the t-test and the two sample t-test and linear regression. And then we kind of, as a, um, on the side, I guess, had to introduce the idea of indicator or dummy variables. Right? This is how we incorporate categorical variables into a linear regression model. And then sort of informally, we touched on the idea of confounding collinearity collinearity through um, why we don't just include all the x variables we have, and a little bit about effect modification. Again, that's where we had one numeric, one categorical x there. In that discussion, we touched on the idea of what effect modification or interaction is. This week, we're going to more formally talk about all those ideas. So we're going to talk about what is confounding, what does it look like, and how can we identify it both conceptually and numerically in data sets. Um, we're going to talk about the idea of mediators, and what are those conceptually, how can we identify them, and numerically, what will they look like in a data set. Collinearity, how, what is it conceptually, how can we identify it numerically in a data set. And what I want to say is, these three are all very similar to each other. Okay, there are some slight and subtle differences that make them different, or maybe in some cases not so subtle. But I wanted to point out that numerically these all behave pretty similarly. We'll get to that. Um, we're going to talk about what does it mean for a variable to be another independent predictor of the outcome, so where it's predictive of the outcome but not um, a confounder, a mediator, or a collinear. Um, what's an unnecessary variable, where it's the variables we don't need to include in the model, and what is interaction or effect modification. So we're going to talk about all these in sort of compartments on their own, one idea at a time, and then in the following week, we're going to tie them all together and look at model building and variable selection and how can we try and account for all of these and address them when fitting a model to the entire set of data. So you'll recall when we talked about fitting regression models, for now keeping them general, just putting wide quotes of any sort of um, regression model, we can think of if we're trying to estimate an effect size, this coefficient D1 here captures what effect does x1 have on the outcome, and we said that b1, which is our estimate of the effect, so what is our sample estimate of the effect that x1 has on the outcome, is going to be equal to the true effect. plus some error, right, there's going to be some random noise or some random error in there, plus some bias. Right, we said, um, especially when working with observational data, right, there may be um, confounders, there may be collinearity, there may be all these other um, things going on. So we want to learn a little bit about including other variables in the model, okay, or deciding which variables should go in, maybe x4 we decide should not go in our model, and part of those decisions are going to be based on do we think something's a confounder, at which point we want to include it, does it seem to be mediating the relationship, and we might want to exclude it, is it collinear, is it another predictor of the outcome, is it unnecessary, and we should just get rid of it. So we're going to talk about what are these different types of variables that can be there, and should we include them or exclude them in the model if our goal is to estimate the effect of some variable x1 on the outcome. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.